Hello, and welcome back to, um, I'm not sure what series this is going to be part of, actually. Probably the Taking a Look At series. Uh, as today, we have two Shodor figures from two different Kamen Rider series. So I think this is the first time I've done anything Kamen Rider on this, uh, on this YouTube channel. I'm still fairly new to Kamen Rider. I've watched three different series so far, two of them obviously represented by the Shodo figures today. Um, and these are just something I came across recently and I thought, oh, these might make an interesting video. So for those who don't know, um, I've personally never opened any either, but these are from Shodo. Um, as you can see, I think that says Shodo somewhere as well. There, it's a Bandai kind of um, line of smaller posable action figures. They come in sort of they're not exactly blind boxes because you know what you're going to get because of each box, but there's kind of. They come in a case, and I guess there's one of each in a case, and maybe a duplicate or whatever. Um, and I think they're assembly figures. They come in parts, and you like, um, you know, build them. So we got two today, uh, just in case you're not familiar with Kamen Rider, or you are, but you don't recognise them or anything. Uh, the two I bought are, as mentioned, from two of the series I've watched. So this is Kamen Rider, uh, so it says there, Kamen Rider Alpha, uh, so that's Kamen Rider Alpha, the second season version. So this is from Kamen Rider Amazons, or in the West it's called Amazon Riders. Uh, it's actually the first Kamen Rider series I watched, it's on Amazon Prime. Um, I don't know if it's called Amazon Riders here because Amazon funded it partly. It's a web series as opposed to a lot of the other Kamen Rider series which are broadcast. Um, but anyway, he is uh, one of the two main Kamen Rider from Amazon's... Uh, well, I think Amazon's is the second one, so up with the Z, and this is his form from the second one. On the side, that is the other lineup. Um, I'm, I'm not going to read them out. There's nothing else in this particular series, which is nine, I think, from Amazon's. So I think, because that's Amazon Beta uh, from the second series, I think he is maybe in a different line or something. I do intend to buy him because Amazon's, as I said, was my first series. I really liked it. So we'll be opening him up. And this is also... Maybe one more people will recognise. Um, this is um, uh, Kamen Rider Vulcan Shooting Wolf uh, version. So this is from Kamen Rider Zero One, which is the first Kamen Rider from the Rewa period. Um, Vulcan is not the main character. He's uh, like one of the other Kamen Riders. He belongs to sort of a police force. Um, and... So Vulcan is the Kamen Rider, and this particular form is Shooting Wolf, as you can see with the gun there, he holds a gun. Um, the whole kind of thing in Zero One is they all had belts and different drives, and the drives gave them different forms. For example, Vulcan has like Punching Kong, which is a big gorilla man. Anyway, I'm probably explaining this to people who already know what this is. I doubt you're watching this if you're not into Kamen Rider. Right, let's stop the preamble. Let's open Vulcan up first. So we'll take a very quick look at the box. I've already kind of shown you. That is the other Kamen Riders. I want to say, is that Black? Maybe Kamen Rider Black um, from one of the first series. The other Kamen Rider series I've uh, seen that isn't uh, represented here is Black Sun, which is also on Amazon Prime. And those are the details there. Right, I'm going to go open him up and then we'll take a look inside. For those interested, this is what comes in the box. So we have a decapitated uh, Kamen Rider Vulcan with no hands. Uh, we have a kind of sprue tree with a bunch of different hands. And we have his gun. Anyway, I'm going to go assemble it. Oh, and, and we have like a little chew, chewing gum kind of thing, I think. I'll reveal this at the end. This is the main thing you guys are here for. Anyway, I'll go build him. All right, I, I have built him and I am thoroughly impressed. So I've I've always heard of Shodo um, figures and stuff, and I knew they were like smaller. And I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting this quality. Now, this cost me I think it was about fifteen pounds. So, admittedly, because it's an import item and stuff, maybe I overpaid a little bit. So it's not like a cheap, cheap thing. But I mean, I think in Japan these are decently cheap. 
And what it comes with is crazy, so I've taken everything off the sprues. Uh, for those interested, all the hands came on this, you literally just twist them off. Like, there's... Below the hand is a little bit of black plastic, uh, which you need to obviously pop into his arms. Uh, and then, so it comes with this, like, black brick thing, which you can place all the hands on. So, we'll take a quick look at the hands, because the details are crazy for this scale and everything. So we've got two, like, open palm ones. We've got, uh, hang on. We've got one for holding a gun uh, in his other hand. I've kept it with his right hand, but there is a left-handed one. And then there's the right-handed kind of open, expressive hand, which I've put in his left hand. And then there's just two closed fists. Obviously, you can't fit anything in them, but, you know, just in case and stuff. So... I'm gonna take a couple photos. I'm not gonna take a ton of photos with different hands and stuff just because it's gonna take a while and they're not gonna change the poses and stuff much. But we'll take a look at Vulcan because, man, he is really cool. So we'll start from the bottom as usual. So not only are his feet and stuff movable, he has angled toes as well. So he can do the kind of like bending, shooting pose and stuff. This is crazy. From from this scale figure to come in sort of like a blind box essentially is absolutely wild. He's got a good range of motion. Um, his his torso has like pivot and stuff as well, uh, along with you know his legs and stuff. I don't know. I think maybe you can attach the gun to like his side thing there. I'm not fully sure. As I said, I've put, like, an open hand on this side. So, the detail isn't, like, super crisp, maybe. I'm sure, I think SH Fig Arts do, like, obviously, the uh, the the 1.6, I want to say, 1.12. I can't remember what scale SH Fig Arts are, no. But they do, like, the more detailed Kamen Rider figures. But, for the price point, this is kind of crazy. So, like... He's um, he's pretty metallic, you know, there's... I The thing is, I saw the series a while ago. I can't remember how detailed the back of him and stuff are. Maybe they're missing, like, a few paint apps. But the thing is, because that's kind of his look anyway, he's part blue, part white and stuff, this looks really good. So that is the face, hang on. Downside with a smaller scale is it does take a little bit longer to focus. But again, there's like a ton of details going on in the face and stuff. And then we've got his other pauldron and then his gun. Now, uh, there is the hole there. I do need to get his actual finger in there. It's a little bit finicky to get that working. Um, when you push it down a bit more, it sort of starts to just spin and stuff. But that is his gun, which I will get in his hand properly in a second for the photos. But honestly, I am very, very impressed with just like the range of motion. I'm gonna go give it a try now. Here's a mini montage, it's not gonna be a ton of photos, but I'm gonna try and try and get him to pull off a couple different poses. So here we go. All right, there we go. So I had a little bit of fun. Um, I managed to get the gun holster to work. Now, it is a little bit precarious. There's like a slight protrusion on one of the sides of the gun. So you've got to kind of pop it into the hole and kind of hope it doesn't fall out. But, you know, overall, it's pretty cool. Um, I do love like the way the waist swivel and stuff as well. He's not, like, super, super dynamic. The kneeling poses take a little bit of finesse and stuff. But overall, honestly, it's really cool. I know he is, like, a smaller scale and stuff. But, yeah, I'm I'm just really pleased. It's certainly a lot cheaper than buying the SH Fig Arts and uh, other stuff like that. Anyway, now it's time for Amazon Alpha. So, uh, this, we'll take a quick look at the box as well, and then, much like the other one, uh, we'll take a look inside. So this is a bit chunkier. Um, I'm not sure what makes this chunkier particularly, but I guess we'll see. Uh, those are the other Kamen Rider, as I've mentioned on the side. I read a few of them, not many of them sound particularly familiar. 
Uh, we've got just a look at him there. Obviously, there's um, Beta as well. Uh, Beta obviously is the main character. I forget their names. I want to say Kai is maybe uh, his name. Again, it's been a while. Anyway, let's open this box up. All right, and quite similarly to Vulcan as well, we have his head, his body, and his hands. He doesn't come with an accessory because uh, Amazons fight with their uh, hands and stuff, basically. Right, I'm going to go assemble him. All right, I have built him. Uh, I also forgot to mention, but we also get the same gum with this, so I've got two to try at the end. Uh, something doubly to look forward to. So, here he is built. Now, first thing is, I will say... <laughs> The thing that holds his hands uh, aren't quite as good. For some reason, like um, the 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 second fist that's like fallen down there. Uh, okay, I'll pick that up in a second. But basically, um, the 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 holes just aren't the right size for many of this of them. Like this fist is really loose; it doesn't look it, and those are particularly tight. So. It's kind of weird, but um, maybe this is an older one. I can't really tell. Anyway, let's take a look at the Alpha himself. So I put him in a very um, weird, sort of like over-exaggerated position. If you've seen uh, Kamen Rider Amazons, you'll know they do kind of like doing that. They are beast people, to be fair. So, you know, it makes sense. Anyway, let's take a look. So he's got... Very, very pointy, uh, kind of like spined boots there, uh, as they do. I do love the um, kind of like holographic green and stuff. Uh, it obviously perfectly complements uh, Amazon Beta, who is green with red stripes. So they look really cool together. Uh, he does have a bit of ab kind of crunch. Not as much as Vulcan. I think Vulcan is from a newer series, potentially. That is his belt, uh, where they sort of uh, pull that, basically. And I want to say one of their finishing moves is to, like, take one of those out because it uh, contains a kind of sword thing, I want to say. It, it has been a while. I kind of want to rewatch it now. Uh, got a very metallic midriff chest section here. And then we got his hands, so I've given him two different hands, but again, they are interchangeable. We've got his gauntlets. So the gauntlets are a finishing move for them as well. They kind of slash their opponents and stuff. He's got some pauldrons. It does kind of limit his shoulder movement, but not really. There's they're not really movable. Um, but it's fine. It, it is a little bit of a shame because Amazons specifically are known for like their arms going like wild and stuff. But eh, it's fine. Uh, we got some more of the green there. On the back, we don't really have the green painting. But again, these are, you know, sort of cheaper figures. I am curious what that is because Vulcan had one of those as well. I wonder if there's... Um... I know some of these sets have accessories and stuff. I wonder if maybe that's where you like mount an accessory or something. Anyway, he's got his spines, that one there. So that is his kind of like grasping hand. That's his out hand. And as you saw, there is a closed fist as well. His head is really cool. Um, I love the design of... I know there it's sort of a soft reboot, I want to say, right? Of one of the earlier Kamen Rider series but they redesigned them slightly. I do love his uh, helmet design along with Amazon Betas. Like they just look, they look so insect-like, but like really cool as well. I especially like his. Um, so when I saw this in a shop, I was like, well, I immediately need to get this. This is so cool. Right, I'm gonna go uh, pose this guy as well in a couple of shots, so BRB. Before I wrap the video up, uh, I'm about to give my final thoughts. I'm actually filming this afterwards because I'm an idiot. I forgot to review the most important things, which is these... Um, God, I hope they're chewing gums uh, and not some stay, stay fresh packet kind of thing. Uh, what do you call it? You know, the, the salt kind of things. That... Anyway, let's, let's give them a try. It does feel like a chewing gum. You know what? It's actually not bad.
It's not the like um, crunchy outer shell, uh, and it tastes of ramune. If you've ever had any kind of sweets from Japan, you've probably had ramune candy. That's not bad actually. I'm gonna keep this one for later. That it might run out of taste pretty quick, but um, as a bonus, I completely didn't realise it's not bad. Anyway, on to my conclusion. All right, I am back. So I've had some fun with Amazon Alpha as well. And I've got to say, they each have their own kind of charms to them. So Shooting Wolf is great for doing all the like cool gun poses that gunslinger kind of characters have. And I kind of realised in posing that his feet aren't um, angled at the front, but they do swivel a lot at the feet. As you can see, you can do like crazier kind of poses like this because that's kind of what you want to do with him. So actually they're both as good as each other but for different reasons. I am really impressed with these. Um, I don't think this is the only Shodo Kamen Rider uh, video I'm going to be making. I might have to buy more of them. I would love a Rising Hopper um, or well Kamen Rider Zero One, any of his forms really but Rising Hopper is my favourite, um, Metal Hopper is really cool as well, um, but yeah, and obviously Amazon uh, Beta as well. I know the changes did, uh, their looks did change from Season 1 to Season 2, because they kind of evolve and stuff. I don't remember them looking a ton different though, I might look into maybe, <laughs> maybe getting Season 1 of Amazon Alpha and Beta as well, um, you know, who knows. I'll see what's out there, I know Shodo have been doing these for a long time, I'm really late to the party here, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys it's a, something a little bit different. Um, let me know in the comments, actually, if anyone watching has any of the Shodo Kamen Rider figures. I know Shodo do Digimon as well, and I'm very tempted to get them now because I didn't realise how detailed they are. I know they're like a smaller scale, but I really like the smaller scale. They're fun to play around with. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you own any of uh, those as well. I do actually own an SH Figarts Common Rider Ghost uh, because I got on massive clearance and I, uh, I've i watched like the first few episodes of Common Rider Ghost. I will get around to finishing it um, eventually. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll stop rambling now um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. What that'll be, I, I don't know yet, but we'll see. And until next time, goodbye.